Hi guys, welcome back. This uh, video that we're going to put together here is going to be three quick examples from section 4.7 for pre-calc and this is composite trig functions and what we have here is we have the section where we dealt with inverse trig. So as you can see inside the parentheses we have arc cosine or cosine inverse, uh, as some of you like to say it, and tangent on the outside. Now we had properties earlier at 4.7 where we had, you know, if we had cosine inverse of cosine of so of something, you know, right here, we know that those would cancel out and we just get x. But now, when we have different trig functions, how do we do this problem? Well, what we want to do first is start with the inside and make a triangle. And we want to make a triangle. Uh, and so we look at the function from the inside. Arc cosine of 2 thirds, by definition, means the cosine of some angle theta is equal to two-thirds. So I'm going to make a triangle. So I'll make a right triangle, okay, and I'll put theta down here. Now relevant to theta, we have cosine. So Sokotoa for cosine uh, is adjacent and hypotenuse. So we know that this side is two and the hypotenuse is three. Now, by the Pythagorean theorem, we know that we can solve for this side a. So we would go a squared plus 2 squared is equal to 3 squared. So simplifying, a squared is going to equal uh, 9 minus 4. I already moved this over to this side here. So a is going to be the square root of 5. So this side is going to be the square root of 5. Once the triangle is solved for with the inside, that's all you use the inside for is to make up the triangle, you go to the outside and do Sokotoa with that. So tangent, according to what we have in the triangle, tangent uh, of theta is the opposite over the adjacent. So our final answer here, opposite radical 5 over the adjacent of 2. So we got radical 5 over 2 as our final answer. So we use the inside to set up a triangle, use Pythagorean theorem to f solve for the missing side, and then go to the outside to find our final answer. Okay, let's look at another one. So here I've got cosine arc sine of 5 thirteenths. Alright, so I feel like going to a different color here. We know that arc sine tells us that sine of some angle theta has got to equal 5 thirteenths. So again, if I draw a triangle, put theta right here, okay, sine in terms of Sokotoa is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite labeled 5, hypotenuse 13, we'll call this side A again we know that a squared plus 5 squared is equal to 13 squared and then making sure that we simplify here we know that a squared is equal to 13 squared which comes out to 169 minus 25 again I've already moved this over okay so 169 minus 25 winds up being uh, 144 so we know that a squared is equal to 144 and that's nice and convenient because when we square root this we're going to get a is equal to 12 so we know that this side is equal to 12 so our triangle again is finished we got a 12 5 and 13 for our sides now we go back to the outside and we look at the cosine of that angle and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse so our answer is going to be 12 over 13 for our final answer so hopefully those two help uh, I want to look at one more that's a little more tricky here we don't have any numbers we have a variable and we'll see this in calculus later on with some trig integration but for right now we want to do the same kind of process here I want to set this up 
so we're going to make a triangle with the inside here. So again, what does the arc cosine of x mean? That means the cosine of some angle theta is equal to x. Now, if we want our Silcatoa ratios, we know cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So I'm going to draw that as x over 1 so that we have our fraction. I'll make another triangle, put theta right here, and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And then we have to figure out what is this side going to be? Okay, so again, we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. We know that a squared plus x squared is equal to 1 squared. And solving for a, we're going to have a squared is equal to, if I put this over to the other side, 1 minus x squared. And then taking the square root, we got 1 minus x squared. So this side that we had labeled for a, is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. All right, so the triangle's done, and we do the same exact thing. Once the triangle's done, we go to the outside here, and I know that sine is the opposite over hypotenuse, so the opposite side winds up being the square root of 1 minus x squared all over 1, and then that simplifies to just the square root of 1 minus x squared. So hopefully that sheds a little light on you for those problems out of 4.7 that they're actually technically called composite trig functions. Thanks for uh, checking out the video.